Hello, Marcus Lim here with Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, this is the Deluxe Edition, the 2021 Deluxe Edition. Uh, so, there have been multiple, you know, editions of this. It has been reprinted so many times, right, since it's first <coughs> printed uh, back in the 80s, right? So, yeah, there was a Deluxe Edition in 2014 uh, edition. Uh, but that was, that's, well, this one is the recolored one, right? And it was actually first recolored uh, in the Absolute Edition, which was about two years ago for the 30th anniversary. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, so I, I believe this is the first time that we are getting a deluxe edition of Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, that's, uh, you know, with the pages restored to their original glory by uh, Dev McKean himself. Okay. And so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is a very psychologically rich tale, <laughs> very trippy, as you see uh, from the artwork. And uh, yeah, so at the bottom here it says, uh, beautifully illustrated and restored, right? That's what I was saying, restored by artist Dave McKean. Um, yeah, I know, and you know, it's also got extras as well. Um, and an afterward, which I think that's the same afterward by Karen Berger. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's, have a, let's have a look. Let me wrap this, okay? And uh, yeah, so as I was, actually, let me also bring out the, so I do have a, uh, I think it's a 15th anniversary edition, see, 15th anniversary edition, pretty old now. This is uh, obviously not the recolored version. Uh, so yeah, so it would be cool to actually compare some of the pages uh, between this and this one. Uh, obviously this is smaller size as well, this is not deluxe, okay? But yeah, so this is the previous uh, hardcover edition that I own. Um, so uh, so I, yeah, I, also, I do have uh, you know, quite a few of these editions. <coughs> Okay, so let me take out the jacket. Right, that's the jacket. And this is what it looks like without the jacket. There you go, the wrap around cover. <clears throat> okay, I wonder what the, I can't remember what the, uh, the old one looked like without the jacket. Oh, it looks different, see? <laughs> The old one is very looks different. <coughs> anyway, let's have a quick look at this. Uh, so a serious house on serious earth, right? That's uh, actually the subtitle of this book. Arkham Asylum: Serious House on Serious Earth. You can tell straight away. See, straight the serious house on serious earth. You can tell straight away that this is a. Uh, you know, pretty uh, trippy, as I said, <laughs> right? It's not your typical looking comic book. Um, this is quite, uh, I don't know, it's probably quite intense, <laughs> uh, surreal, like a wet, I don't know, like a surreal dream, right? You're not really quite sure whether what you're seeing is real or is it a dream. But the premise is quite simple actually. The premise is, you know, all the um, inmates of the asylum, Arkham Asylum, they've escaped and they've actually, uh, they're holding the staff of the asylum hostage and so they're asking Batman to come in um, to the asylum, give himself up, otherwise they will start executing the staff one by one, right? So Batman comes in and, you know, like, they give him one hour <laughs> to escape um, before they, you know, hunt him down. Um, so, you know, along the way, right, you get all these characters, villains appear, like the Mad Hatter, right, and um, <clears throat> other characters as well. Um, but yeah, so you can see Dave McKean's artwork is a combination of, you know, I think photo, photography, painting, sculptures, 
It's a very, very unique look, and I guess quite experimental. I guess it suits this story. Um, this story really well. Which is, you know, Arkham, right? It's about the mental for the asylum for the mentally insane. <clears throat> Along the way, it's also got this side story, I guess, about how the asylum came to be, right? So it's like Amadeus Arkham, uh, who um, you see, see way back at the beginning here, I flip back, right? That's his mom. And so the tragic death of his mom and how he cared for her, I guess that was what inspired him to, uh, I guess, build this asylum for the criminally insane. Um, so yeah, so that that's that's the story, uh, and this is a quote from Alice Ventures in Wonderland. So it's quite literary, you know, and I guess you know there's been a lot of analysis about this right over the years. Uh, so yeah, so that's so this is the um, <coughs> uh, afterward by Karen Berger, ninth or fifteenth. Anniversary right right here. <clears throat> so it's an old afterword. Okay. And then we get the uh, the script, the complete script by Grant Morrison. Um so as well as like not as well. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So this is included in all the editions so far. Right? Um so it's not anything new. Okay. Let me fast forward to let's see, yeah, this bit here. Right, some layouts by Grant Morrison, the writer himself, which serve I guess as a guide to for Dave McKean, right? Um but yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? And here's the Arkham Asylum Gallery by Dave McKean, okay? And then we got like some of the covers for all these previous editions. Um, yeah, covers and stuff. Now the the absolute edition. So let me bring that up. Absolute edition seems to have. Um, a few more um, like extras at the end it seems so let me come to the end here uh, yeah you see that uh, yeah it's got some uh, some of these convention sketches as well which are a bit a little bit different right from what we saw in the deluxe and I guess yeah, there's some stuff specific just to the Absolute Edition because it's about this kind of cover of the slipcase and also the, uh, yeah, uh, not the slipcase, you know, the, the cover for this Absolute Edition. So, yeah. Um, but another thing that I wanted to do was to, yeah, compare a little bit, you know, looking at, like, say, some of the pages and see if you can spot like any like differences so if I say let me bring out like one page uh, hmm. yeah maybe that page and let's see if I can bring out the same page and see if we can see any like Major difference. I guess, yeah, I guess if you have them side by side, right? So the deluxe on the left with the recolored um, version, and you know, on the right, this is the original uh, non restored uh, version. So you can see that the original one seems like it's, I don't know, darker, right? This is a bit more, I don't know, brighter, before a bit more bluish. Okay, yeah, so you can tell, it's quite obvious, yeah. And the other main difference, I guess, is if you have a look at, say, you know, this lettering, the Joker's 
uh, I guess dialogue, right? In the original version, like, <clears throat> you can see that uh, there's this sort of like white contours around the red, whereas in the re restored one, like, there's no white contours. Maybe this makes the lettering a little bit easier to read, although sometimes I still find it <laughs> hard to actually read, you know, what's actually being, what's, what the Joker is actually talking about. But I think, yeah, it this actually makes it a bit better without the white, like, outer contours. <clears throat> um, yeah, but I guess, you know, like, uh, yeah, as I said, right, this, so this orange, this, uh, restored version, right? Death McKean, he, he actually had to painstakingly track down every single page because I think he sold the artwork <laughs> uh, off to other people, so he had to kind of track them down and scan them in back, right? So, but but yeah, so it should be pretty cool to actually have this now restored to the or to the you know version that Death McKean had. Oh, sorry always wanted to have to see <clears throat> and so yeah so that's it this is the deluxe edition 2021 deluxe edition restored uh, edition <clears throat> so i mean i would this is not a story that i would probably like recommend as like a, the first batman story <laughs> to someone because you know it's probably an acquired taste i think like Batman doesn't really, he's not like the kick-ass action, you know, Batman that we know uh, from the movies or, you know, from the standard other like DC comics. Uh, so yeah, this is more of a psychological horror kind of trying to deconstruct, you know, who is Batman, what's his relationship to the Joker and, you know, to all these villains. <laughs> um, so yeah, so probably not the first story I would recommend, but at some point, you know, if if you want to check out, you know, what is, what has, you know, what many people say is an acc acclaimed uh, story, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, then yeah, this is, this is a good addition to uh, check out, because um, yeah, this is the uh, recolored, restored uh, version. That Dave McKean has always envisioned. So yeah, so that's a very quick look at Batman Arkham Asylum, Serious House on Serious Earth, the Deluxe Edition 2021. So hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another video.